What is up everybody? Welcome back to another vlog. Today is an exciting day. This video is actually a follow-up video from the golf fitting video we did a couple weeks ago because our new irons just came in. I actually picked them up yesterday and so today's plan is we're gonna go head over to the golf course, take the wrapping off these bad boys, go play around with them and see how we do. It's a beautiful day right now. Absolutely perfect. So welcome back to the vlog. And I hope you guys enjoy. All right, everybody, before we head out to the golf course, we gotta get some lunch with Wynn. Today, we're eating a salad. Later. Well, as you can see, the clubs are locked and loaded. We're ready to go. Let's go get them dirty. All right, everybody, we've made it to hole number one. This is the north course of Crestview Country Club and it's a par four, playing about 410. I've got driver in hand. We're just gonna try to put this one down the middle. That one was all right. We're gonna go find it. It's in the rough, but short of the bunker, so we're in play. Let's keep going. So it's actually not short of the bunker. I'm actually right next to it, but we're gonna get the distance here and see what we need to get into the green. It looks like we got about 190 in. Didn't get that drive very far. I didn't try to kill it because um, I just wanted to hit it straight. <laughs> I wanted it to be in play, but we're gonna see if we can get a good approach here in. It's probably gonna be a hybrid for me and we'll see if we can put her on. Not ideal guys. The rough is really hard to hit out of and I just got under it. Flew maybe halfway to the hole and it's sitting in the rough again, so. We'll get our best shot. I've got about 113 from here. I need to get a taller tripod. You guys are like this tall and I'm this tall and it's just kind of a mess, but I've got 113 to the flag. It's kind of elevated, so I've decided to go with a pitching wedge. Hopefully we can get it close to the flag. Bruh. Well, I'm in the beach, guys. Okay, we got a bunker shot to get on the green. So this is for par, hopefully I can get it in. If not, up and down for bogey. <laughs> not too mad about that one. First bunker shot of the day. Got about eight to 10 feet here for a bogey. Let's see what happens. Ooh, close one, close one. Ah, well, I hit it on my line, so I'm not mad. Double bogey to start of the day. Well, I'm really just out here to enjoy the day. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and on to hole two. Okay, hole number two from the blue tees is playing about 520 to par five. Uh, there's a river right in front of me that I can reach with my driver. So I'm gonna hit a four iron, try to lay up on that river, see what we can do here. I don't have a ball. Oh yes, I do, it's right here. Do. I broke the tee, I really like that one. Let's go see what it looks like. Not the most ideal spot. It looked good from the tee box, but there's a big old tree in my way. I've got a three wooded hand. I'm gonna try to keep this one low. Maybe do a little baby draw and hopefully it just runs up the fairway. Okay, not a draw, but I kept it low and it did run. So I've got about 180 to the pin. Let's see how this goes. Hit 
it's there, but I kept the face a little open, so we're on the rough. So we're gonna see if we can pull this one up and down for par here, guys. Plenty of green to work with. I'm gonna see, I don't have my 58 degree, wind has it. So we're gonna go with our sand wedge here again. Nice shot. Probably another eight to 10 footer from what I can see for a par here. I gave it a good chance. I gave it a real good chance. Can't be mad about that one, especially after I duffed that second shot. On to hole three, everybody. Walking up to the tee box to number three. This one's a par four, plays about, <clears throat> actually it's a very short par four, but very steep dog leg left with a water hazard in front of me. Play here is I think you just lay up, try to hit a good tee shot. Tee shot only needs to be about 150, maybe 200. We'll see, he plays about 330. I've got five iron. A little unlucky there. I tried to be aggressive with the line and I just caught it thin and opened. So you saw it kind of curve towards the right. It's gonna leave me quite a ways in, but you know, nothing we can't do. So it looks like the pins in the back playing about 180. And I think I can actually get there with my five iron if I strike it well. I'm gonna keep trying to use these irons just to see how they play, see how I like them, see how they feel in my hands. And so I'm just gonna go for it with the five iron here. Not a bad shot, I hit it straight. I'm loving how these irons are playing. And I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Make sure you leave a comment if you like it. Leave a like if you like it, and always don't forget to subscribe. Coming up to my third shot, we are on the green or close to the green, trying to chip it on for a birdie and putt in for par. Par, everybody. That means we really needed that actually. That means we are three over through three on to hole four. Hole number four is a longer par four. I've got driver in hand. I need to get it down there if I want a chance at par. So we're gonna go ahead and stick with the driver on this hole. Middle of the fairway. Shot number two, I got about 150 to the flag. I'm gonna try to fly a seven iron in there and put it close. Oh, I had the wrong club. I had too much on it. I flew it right by. We're gonna go see what it looks like. I still have a lot of green to work with, but it's downhill. So I'm gonna try to put it close to me and let it release. I think we're gonna like that one. Let's go. Wait, stop rolling. Woo -hoo -hoo. That's not too bad. Let's see if we can sink this one in. Bruh. Oh, that's unlucky, guys. Very unlucky, bogey. Nothing you can do when it lips out like that. Gotta find the center of the cup next time. On to hole number five. That means we are four over through four. Hole number five is a par three. It's a pretty long one. I think it plays about one, 170, maybe 180. I guess not that long, but I'm, I'm a short hitter, so everything's kind of long to me. I'll see you guys at the next hole. So we got a par three here playing about 167. I've got a six iron in hand with these new clubs. I think I'm starting to hit a little longer. I'm starting to see that difference already. Oh, I opened it. All right, so good distance on that one. Just couldn't close the face on the swing. A little spinny to the right, and we're gonna go try to get it up and down. Not the worst position I hit out of. I'm trying to get this one high.
Not bad. Rolled by at about two, one, one and a half feet. So uh, we're gonna try and see if we can putt for par, everybody. Here we've got a par five playing about 470. So I have the driver in hand. We're gonna try to get this one as far down as we can, as straight as we can. So far, I, I've been really happy with how I've been playing today. Uh, the irons feel awesome. I'm hitting them a lot straighter. My misses are very predictable. We're gonna try and have a good hole here, hopefully get a par and break the bogey golf streak. That one's right into the rough. We're gonna try to find it. Oh, there's a lot of trees over there, but we're probably gonna have to punch that one out and get back into the fairway. Um, we're just gonna have to punch out through that gap. I've got my five iron in hand. We're gonna see if we can put it through there, thread the needle. You know the vibe. We're still in the rough, but we're out of the trees. Let's go play it. So the pin is 220 away which is actually reachable with my three wood, but uh, I'm gonna play it safe here. I don't really wanna get myself in any trouble, so we're gonna go with the hybrid and try to put it into the fairway, just short of the green. Well, I think we found the fairway just short of the green, so just like we planned. I think I put a little too much juice on that one. Sorry about this, everybody. I actually got back to the camera and realized I didn't press the record button. From that spot and that chip, I ended up two putting. So we were still in the bogey train, heading over to the next hole. I found the right side rough. I'm just having trouble closing the the club face on the driver right now. Um, but we're gonna try and get that one out and see what we can do here. It's a pretty tough par if I'm playing from there. But we're gonna try our best. I got 237 to the flag. So I'm gonna take my three wood, hit it over the water, and it's gonna be just short of the green, but I've gotta wait a second here. I don't wanna be rude and hit into them. Um, if I catch this good, it's it's going at them. But every time I wait, every time I do that, I'm like, ah, oh, I'm gonna hit him. I, I should wait. I just, I top the ball. Um, we'll see what happens. Just gonna drop here. I got about 90 in. Uh, I got a 54 degree in hand. Oh, that's a really unlucky break. I just got it a little short and it never it released onto the green. Um, we're gonna go see what we got up there. Uh, so we got a pretty long putt here. This is actually for bogey since I take a penalty for dropping one in the water. Not a bad putt at all. Double bogey to finish out that hole. It is what it is. I'm having a great day. The weather's awesome and the course is beautiful. I'm just really enjoying this. I'm having a good time. And if you're still watching this video, I hope you're having a good time as well. Let me know what you like about the video, what you don't like about the video. Let me know what you wanna see, how much golf content you wanna see, what other kinds of content you wanna see. I can make it happen for you guys gotta let me know anyways if you're still watching i hope you enjoy we've got two more holes to play and then we're done okay we've got a long part an actually long par three here i'm playing about 180 from the blues i've got a fire iron i've got a five iron in hand try to get it there
Everybody, we're back. Unfortunately, on that last hole, while I was waiting on the tee box, my battery died, so I was unable to get any of that hole, and I just didn't have the time between groups to replace the battery, which, you know, was okay. So, uh, just a score update, I did bogey that hole. I chipped it on and two-putted, which means we're nine over through eight right now, playing the last hole. The last hole's a par four, playing about 400. Um, maybe it's 430, but it's a big old dog leg left. And we're gonna see if we can try to break even on this playing bogey golf. Not a bad swing. Um, it felt really slow. I feel really slow on that one, but it's in the fairway right side. So we're gonna have a chance to uh, get inside of the green here on two. If we hit a good second shot, we're gonna see what happens. Got about 190 to the pin. Uh, I've got a hybrid in hand, three hybrid, and we're just gonna try to keep this one straight. Ooh, that is not straight. Not straight, not straight. Good news is I can find it. Bad news is I hit it over there. Hey, just short of the green, but we're putting, guys. Well, that is hole number nine. We finished 10 over through nine. It was a good round. I gave it a good run. A lot of unfortunate putts, but that is the end of this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you leave a like, make sure you leave a comment, make sure you subscribe. Um, tell your friends too. But this video was a lot of fun to make. Let me know if you liked it. Let me know what you did like. And let me know what you didn't like. And hopefully you can see more of this content in the future. But for now, that's all. I appreciate you guys. Hope you had fun watching the video and I'll catch you on the next one. See you guys.